He's yeah. our president. No, no, no. What, this is the party, the Republican Party stood for family values. Yeah. And right. if our president is the philanderer in chief, don't you think the American public deserves to know that? I, I think, look, that's between him, his wife, and, and his God. And I, and, I'm but, sorry. But, I'm sorry to interrupt, but don't you think you forego or you, you, you give up that ability to keep it between your wife and your God when you become president of the United States? He has a responsibility to allow not, not a, and if it didn't happen while he was in office. I mean, there's a lot, like, what he did prior... But, but it didn't happen while, while he was in office. Does that not... That absolves him of no, all... No, it doesn't. Guilt? It doesn't absolve him. It's not a... I mean... It, again, I think that's between him and his wife, what, ha, what he may or may not have done or what he, ha, what he said he did or didn't do. But that's but not... But payments are being made and all of again, that... Again, it depends under... if it's... No, if it's illegal, Natalie, then I, yeah. I get it. But I have not... And again, this is not something that I'm dealing with now, nor to your question, Mike, that I spend a ton of time thinking about. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's not... I don't know. It's between him and, and these individuals and, and his wife. How do you think the Republican Party, though, has changed given this presidency? Um, every president puts their stamp on the party while they're in office. You saw this with Clinton. Uh, there was a, a bit of a shift to the right of the Democratic Party. Obama tended to take the party, the Democratic Party, to the, to the left. I think when you, if you're a Republican or you're conservative, I think you look at Trump in terms of the accomplishments and you go, okay, whether it's the judiciary, whether it's the economy, ISIS. He's actually gotten a ton of stuff that's been on the Republican and conservative agenda for decades done. And, I, and so if you're results oriented, which I think most um, Republicans are focused on, are we actually getting things done that we set out to or that the president promised to do as a candidate? But I think you're pretty happy. And, and, you, and you see that in the approval rating. I mean, the president's approval rating by party is the second highest, second to George W. Bush post 9-11. Republicans are- You can are, add a period to that too? I can if you want. <laughs> he writes in the book, never add a period. No, no, actually, I, as I wrote the book, I honestly got to start to go, wow, I use, I say that a lot. <laughs> to that point though, we're starting to see a real burgeoning anti-Trump conservative movement. Is, is that something that is more divisive than what we would expect from the predictable you know, liberal yeah. critics? I would actually push back on that. I mean, like I said, his approval rating by party is the second highest of any modern president, save George W. Bush post 9-11. You actually have, you do have a, a vocal minority, mm -hmm. but, but by and large, there is a huge amount of support within the party for the president and his agenda. But the Republican Party that you first started working with, even going back to, you know, with, on the campaign trail right. with Mitt Romney and all that, this is so vastly different. It Wouldn't is, you agree? It, in style, yes. But in, but in but results. But in tone. Sure. But, but again, I think that. Values. Uh, but, but as a Republican, as a conservative, I'm focused on actually what's getting done. You look at the tax cuts. You look at the regulatory state, ISIS. Uh, and so many other things. The judiciary, I think, is going to be a massive piece of Trump's legacy. Two Supreme Court justices will be, you know, soon. Mm -hmm. The circuit court, the appellate court. This is stuff that conservatives have been fighting for for decades. I, I'm, I'm really excited for what we've actually been able to accomplish. You've got a talk show coming soon, I think, in the fall. Potentially. Uh, <laughs> potentially. I've heard there's been some trouble getting some guests on. Uh, we, true or not true? Uh, there were some, definitely some folks that they reached out to that said they didn't want to be on it. Um, Frankly, like, some of like. the some well, to be clear, some of the folks I didn't want to be on the show and it's not per, I'm not, you know, I think there was some confusion as to the approval process. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, I'm looking forward to having, I think, some constructive, informative discussions that are what we talked about a minute ago, that we can actually sit down with folks and say, let's show people how you can disagree on a policy uh, mm -hmm. issue or on a cultural issue in a respectful, civil way. Thank you so much, Sean. We uh, okay. wanted to have that podium for you because actually that was <laughs> shot here on our stage. Really? The little mobile podium. But oh, we don't it's a have shame. It. It's storage because I would have paid anything to see it behind the podium. Oh, just one more time. the uh, access studio. But thanks for being Thank here. Thank you. The briefing, time. politics, the press, and the president is available right now.